Okay, now on One UI 8.5, Samsung has removed three important features on the camera application and they have made some changes as well. So in today's video, let's quickly take a look at the camera app on One UI 8.5. On the right hand side, we have got One UI 8.5 on S25 Ultra. Let's open the camera app here. Here on the S24 Ultra, we have got One UI 8. Let's open the camera app and let's see which features are removed. Now let's go to more here. As you can see, we don't have dual recording and single take. Now this is a blunder, I would say. These are two important features for a lot of people out there. For any casual photos, the single take, and for creators, the dual recording is definitely two important features which are on the Galaxy phones. And now they've just disappeared on One UI 8.5. And I think this could be a mistake and we may be getting them back very, very soon. And if they don't add it back, then it is gonna be a big mistake from Samsung's side. Let's hope we get the dual recording and single take feature back on the One UI 8.5, probably in the, in the second beta. Now the third feature which I'm not able to find is on the settings menu, and I could be wrong here. Let's open settings. Here we have got this option called swipe shutter button to take burst shot or we can create a GIF using the shutter button. And I'm not able to see this swipe shutter button to option on the latest One UI 8.5. I did check all the settings here for some reason I'm uh, unable to find it. Like I said I could be wrong here it may be hiding in some of the settings but I'm not able to find it so I feel that this feature is also missing on One UI 8.5. If it is missing, let's hope Samsung add this feature back. Now let's look at the changes and features that we have got on One UI 8.5. Now if I go to more and tap on Pro Video Recording, you can see we have got a brand new icon over here. Now this button enables us to hide all these distractions, all these information in just one tap. Let me tap on this icon. You can see everything just disappears. We just have the zoom options here. Now let me tap on this again, it comes back. This is the height controls button which has been newly added on the One UI 8.5. Next we have got some enhancements to the log video recording but this is linked to the gallery application because once you take the log videos you can further edit it using lookup table which is LUT. That option has been introduced now on One UI 8.5. Now I have got a log video recorded here and when I tap on edit and tap on tone option, you can see we've got LUT right over here. We've got off and standard options here. Standard will give it the standard colors as you can see. You can further edit it or you can turn it off and edit the color and grade the colors over here. So this is something new, something for the creators who want to shoot videos in log format. Now let's go to the settings. There are some minor changes here, some tweaks. You can see instead of intelligent optimization, we've got photo enhancer mentioned here and changes in the titles here, it says maximum, prioritized quality, medium, balanced, and minimal, prioritized speed. The options are same, but the way it is being presented is different. It is more easy to understand now. And we've got scene optimizer, scene detection option right over here. And like I mentioned, swipe shutter button is not showing up on the newer version. And you can see we've got watermark here. It is exactly the same. And we have got advanced picture options on the current version. And this option is under photo format. When I tap on that, you can see high efficiency pictures, uh, pro mode picture format is available. And the motion photo capture, we have got before shutter only and before and after shutter. And this feature is separately mentioned here, motion photos. When I tap on that, you can see we have got some additional options here, before and after shutter for motion capture range, before shutter only. Then we've got audio feedback, camera shutter sound, recording finish sound. And we also have timing when picture is taken when recording finishes. So these are some additional options we have got. Whereas on the current version, we just have before and after shutter, before shutter only. And the rest of the options are more or less the same, but some of them don't look alike. And they did shuffle and they did change some of the options. They moved the sub options from one option to another. So those are some minor changes which have taken place. But uh, currently, Samsung did make a mistake removing two options and I'm pretty sure they will be bringing back the dual recording and single take options and swipe shutter button to burst shot as well. And let's hope that they add some new features on the One UI 8.5 in the upcoming betas. This is something which I wanted to share with you. If you're a camera enthusiast, then you should know these changes. Uh, that's about it, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe to know your phone better. Give this video a like. And if you're interested in these wallpapers, it's available on the Volvers application. The link for you to download it is in the description. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.